<laughs> Look at it. Our first set of keys. It should be your first truck, but technically it's our third Ooh, truck. I like this. Come see Vince at Valley Freightliner. He's really He's knowledgeable. He's the guy two feet. You guys are here. Come see Vince. This is the man. One for each of you. Uh. <laughs> hey guys. Hi guys. <laughs> Welcome to our new truck video. Welcome to our new home video. <laughs> Yeah, new home slash new truck video. All right, let's start the tour. Hi guys! Ready for your truck tour? Yeah! yeah. Three points of contact, thank you. <laughs> Let's start with the outside. So we just pulled the truck out of the showroom. Insert clip. This is our new home. Oh my god. Woo, look at that shine. Oh babe, okay, yeah. I'm yeah, I'm so happy. Oh my god, look at her. We don't even have a name for her. First of all. First things first, I'm the first realist. First things first. Let's talk about the color. So. I don't know if you guys can see this, but it is... I don't know if you can see this, but it's the color of my nails. <laughs> it's so cherry. Oh my god, it looks so good. Oh, there... Okay, so it is candy apple red mm -mm. metallic. Metallic candy apple red. Okay, so it's metallic candy apple red. Recognize. Um, I'll insert um, a sample of what exact the color is in case you want to get it. And then the second most important thing is that it's the chrome package. The elite package. The second most important thing. <laughs> <laughs> it's not so much cooler than the chrome package. Which means, your turn. So with the elite package, you get the chrome mirror caps, you get the chrome grill, you get the daytime running lights, which is really cool. When you're driving them light, these are just gonna be lit up. We you. opted for all 10 aluminum tires. So, aluminum with a hubcap on top. Come here, did this I is, say tire? Yeah, you said tire. So we got the aluminum rims on it, power coated, and not only that, we got all 10. So if you look inside, normally, in our old truck right now, the outsides are aluminum, but the insides are steel. It's all aluminum. So that so was it's the lighter. elite package. Um, I'm so obsessed with this. So freaking, this is an aesthetic, guys. This is an aesthetic. Okay, your turn. Okay, what are we talking about next? The most important part is that it's in 2021. It's what year is it? not even 2021 yet. What year is this? Oh, it's crappy 2020. 2020. You guys are living in 2021 right here, baby. <laughs> is it time to bring them inside? I think it's time to bring them inside. Let's do one roundabout real quick yeah. though. Oh, and by the way, one thing we didn't talk about, that right there, I opted for the spotlight option. We would never be in the situation if we didn't know something yeah. here like If my grandma didn't live here, we'd never go down the road imagine like this. How much would we be freaking out if we made a wrong turn and we were just like out here? Yeah. Okay, um, one regret is that we didn't get the top window. We um, kind of forgot about it. Yeah. And then it was too late to, but yeah, whatever. We love the truck so much. It looks there. so good looks even good. without, yeah. yeah. She's shining. Oh my god, look at these airbags. Oh, this is beautiful. 
Look at all this. You guys room, seeing this right here? here? I'm Look obsessed. Even when it's not in the sunlight, it's absolutely stunning. What is this? Um, there's, this is the APU from the outside, and then we're gonna go inside, okay guys? Let's take a look at the APU here. So it's a full electric APU, which is my, I guess, third, fourth, fifth favorite thing. Not sure where I'm at. Are we ready to go inside? We're ready to go inside. Let's, Let's go, go inside. Are we ready for the inside tour? Let's do it. Okay, so when you first come in, so first we got these safety curtains. Safety curtains. accordion curtains. For under the chair that really helps so our dog doesn't go under there because it's dangerous yeah. in there Ooh, we parts. have to we have to do our dog's first reaction to the new truck. yeah we do okay here we go so when you first come in ooh, uh, i almost fell i got you <laughs> thank you <laughs> yeah <laughs> this looks so different from our 2015 right now i can't even tell you like every little thing is so different even the vents now yeah. we're gonna go through the passenger side now vents Vince was super kind enough to put some mats in here for us. I mean, it's better than nothing, and these are honestly pretty nice. Okay. This, these handles are bigger. Like, look at this handle. Well, that handle's not even there in our truck right now. Well, it's up here. So right now, yeah. our handle, it's like this, and it's like this Oh, long. you're right. This one's like double the length, and it sticks out more, and it's, it's like... Sturdy. It's a different material, for sure. Okay. And then coming in here, opted for the, what would you call it? This is the premium package, the premium interior package. Is it? I yeah. thought it was just, they called like the beige interior. And this color is like a tan beige, or you could get the gray. So those were the two colors. Over here, this way, the chairs, I forgot what these chairs were called, but they're not cloth and they're not leather. It's like a mixture. So zoom in on here. It's, it's like, it's faux leather with faux leather. Leather. We'll go. Cascadia. We'll go ask some um, Vince after exactly. What I want to put a was. cover on this, but I don't want to. It's so nice. Okay, and then coming Stepping in here. In. First thing you're gonna notice is the lights, which you've seen in the 2020s as well, but the ambiance lighting. Ambiance lighting, yeah. And they're, I believe they're LEDs. I'm pretty sure they yeah, are. Yeah, they're LEDs. But I bet you they're not hot. They've been on for a little bit. And I bet you that Oh my god, I can stop complaining about you turning off the lights because it gets the truck hot. They're not hot. I mean, they're just like slightly warm, but they're not very hot. So the truck we have right now, it's on for like one minute and it's like super hot. It It'll heats the entire the cab. Time. And during the summer, that's not fun. Where do we begin? Okay, so can we begin with everybody's asking, everybody wants to know about this. What's underneath the bed? You know our truck now, you might not even know but maybe you do. Our truck is a double bunk, so it's really constricting, kind of depressing, blah, blah, blah. So we definitely wanted to get the storage up top. And you know, the bed seems a little thicker, but it's probably just my imagination. So I'm gonna show you how to um, get the table ready and adjust the bed. All right, that's clicks. secured. And then there's a hook down here. And the table's actually a lot bigger in person than it looks like in pictures or even in other videos. So or if you video. zoom in, like it's the length of like, even arm. a little longer than my arm. Oh, my arms are long, so. <laughs> she's very, she's very lengthy. I don't know how to gauge that. And then, so the chairs. One chair up. And these chairs are very trucker friendly. Look, so this is the one thing, two of me. I didn't even sit here yet. You oh can, my God, it's so comfortable. Yeah, you can fit two of me, look at this. You and the Rudy, it's perfect. <gasps> Rook and Ferry, yeah. And okay, then guys. my other favorite thing, I think everything is my favorite at this, this point. This whole thing. So you don't have to, you can just nope. slide the table. Oops. Until it clicks. Yeah. And then put our- Oh my God, we can have cup. So total cup holders, which is very important. Like cup holders are life. So we have two back here and three up there. Yeah. Okay, so to put the table back, <laughs> you gotta press Let's the button. Let's not start. <laughs> Next. Look at how comfortable that looks look at how a, i i can't i'm speechless like first of all you're beautiful everybody knows that and secondly look at how not and did you notice the ambiance lighting underneath let's talk about our next favorite thing which is This is where microwave's gonna go. Two plugs back here and an AC outlet. Down here, you unlock the the TV 
mount. And under here is our fridge. So we used to have a 32 inch and I think we're gonna get a 24 inch this time because we wanna get the biggest fridge we can fit in here. And then the, the outlet for that, the two out, there's two outlets down there for the fridge and then there's also another AC down there. And this platform's pretty big. So it's I nice think and we can, sturdy. Our next favorite thing <laughs> would be, so I like the closet here. So on our old truck, the closet was way up here. Oh, and on our old truck, the one thing I didn't like was the closet way up here and you had to like really dig in there. But I kind of like the closet down here. And we could also turn this into a, a dresser instead of a hanging because we'd be able to fit way more. It might be more organized because you know how our closet gets. Yeah. So let's figure that out. And then a oh. funny note is that he said that an airline craft engineer designed this. So it really makes you feel like you're in an airplane. One main difference they did between the 2020 and the 2021 um, Cascadia was that they made it a little bit more aerodynamic by like a small percentage. But I really like the colors. They That's go so beautiful. good. I would definitely advise to get this color. I would advise getting this color versus um, the gray. I think it looks so much more homier and it, it looks better. What do you think? I think so. I almost made a mistake because I thought the gray was going to look more modern and more industrial and I came this, this close to making the mistake. High class. Yeah, I mean it almost made the mistake of just getting that generic company It would look driver. like our old truck if we did. Really depressing too because yeah. it really brightens up the place too. Here's a little view of it. It's hard for you to see how big it really feels mainly because without the top and then to kind of give you an example of how this is a little deeper than I actually thought it would be because I was worried we'd run out of space not having the top bunk because right now our top bunk is super full. So I don't want to stand on anything right now, but look at it. It's pretty deep. Let's our mattress rolled up. Well, guys. Be a tour. So okay, he he last one. We got right. the CV radio. So channel 19 is going to be for truckers. I've never used a CV radio. Breaker Breaker 1-9. Okay, so a video that's gonna come out like next month or whatever is gonna be me on this and I'm telling you We're gonna do some funny stuff on there, and I'm gonna get it all on video. It's gonna be great So this concludes our truck tour guys Comment below how much you think it costed because in one of my next finance videos I am going to do a whole breakdown of the cost and insurance and everything what we used to pay and what we're going to pay now and um, the price difference some people might be like oh my god it's going to be super expensive you might be surprised check this out you're going to love this <gasps> a reading oh lamp. it's a little reading oh light. my god got two. about to end it but we forgot to go over the apu so we've got a park smart apu we've got air conditioning we have our ac right now our inverter is going to be running 24 7 because we're going to get a nice big fridge. Ooh, look, there's two vents. In ours right now, there's only one vent yeah. in the sleeper. This doesn't feel like a sleeper. This feels like a lounge. I mean, I know that was the point, but it really, right now, hanging out, it really feels like a lounge. So, so um, I that this is our truck. I'm, look at this. Really I'm sitting like at a table. Yet. This inside. table is so much bigger than I imagined. This you guys cool. definitely don't know, but I've been dreaming and thinking about getting a truck with the cat for how long, babe? Yeah. For years now. Since, since I first since saw it. Since it first came out like years ago. 2017. Yeah. Yeah. And then I've been wanting it for about a year, so. Doing our first load right now in our new truck and it's going really well. Passing everybody. And then we have our computer set up. Hi guys, we're still moving in, but there's a couple things that I forgot to mention in our tour video, so I'm going to show you real quick. Everything's a little messy because we're still moving in, so don't look, <laughs> but here's the table right here, and I want to show you that there's another plug that we found underneath here. Do you see it? I don't know if you can see that. I can't show you the rest of the truck because we have to do a move-in tour. No, the other things that we noticed and we didn't get to mention yet were all automatic windows and locks. So you saw that we have a fob. I really, really love the new dashboard. So you can actually put things here. And then the old one, the slope was so steep, you couldn't really put anything there. We can see the eco driver. So see how far back you, how you push the um, accelerator or 21%, which is pretty good smooth throttle use. We're not like slamming on the gas and you know 
and then the average uh, braking, 76%, which is gentle braking, or use more of the uh, J brakes opposed to actual service brakes, because we, uh, we like saving our brake pads and our brakes in general. Pretty cool. What's another feature? And we've got a cool feature. So this is something that we sprung extra for. Yeah. This is the uh, tire uh, PSI monitoring. So we can see exactly what our tire pressure is at. So no more guessing, no more going outside with a little um, tire gauge that I usually, that I actually still have. Mm -hmm. Then you go down and you can see how many in my differentials get locked. It'll tell me right there in the middle. I have one differential lock on this truck. Um, then we've got our oil temperature and we've got the PSI pressure gauge for the fifth wheel and the, uh, the drives. So our 13 PSI, we're empty right now, even though we're doing our fifth load. We are at 221 oil temperature. And then we've got the front and rear axle temperature, so we can see if anything's going wrong, if they're overheating or anything. Yeah, all the gauges are really different. Like the, the fuel gauge is the one that I'm always in charge of, and it looks so different. So I'm still getting used to that. And I think for each quarter, we get anywhere from like, at, we get at least six hours for each quarter. So it's pretty fuel efficient. We're having like a lot more horsepower and whatnot. Wish I could say I was finally over you, but that's not the truth. Mm -mm. Everyone always keep falling in love again. 